Hey, what's going on everybody? JB the Ranch Mechanic, and today's Fast Tip Friday. And today we're gonna to be talking about my 2007 Tahoe and a relatively inexpensive and cool upgrade that you can do for your GMT 900 truck or Tahoe, Yukon, Sierra, Silverado, that kind of thing. And what we're gonna be talking about today is upgrading your turn signals and brake lights to LED. And the brand that I choose might surprise you. No, it's not the Chinese stuff off of Amazon. These are actually Sylvania Zevo LED bulbs that you can buy at pretty much any auto parts store in the country for about 20 bucks a pair, maybe 25 bucks. I'm not sure what the current price is. On. So let me turn the camera around and kind of show you what we're talking about here with these Zevo bulbs and why I like them. So give me one second, turn the camera around. All right, guys, let me uh, preface what I'm gonna say in this video with the following. These do not work perfectly for every single light housing. Um, I'm currently running these Zevo bulbs in my uh, 2018 Silverado, and I like them so much in that application uh, that I'm going to put them in my Tahoe as well. Okay, so those are the Sylvania Zevo tail lights in my uh, 2018 Silverado being driven by my wife in front of us. We're in broad daylight here, and as you can see, they are very bright. Um, up in the third brake light, we do have a, uh, a bulb from VLEDs, which is actually substantially brighter than even the tail lights. It's way overkill for what, what it needs to be, but it's also very bright. But as you can see, um, these bulbs, these uh, Sylvania Zevo bulbs in the uh, tail light housings work perfectly. They're very, very bright, no issues. They look really good. Um, more than bright enough to be seen in broad daylight with the sun shining directly on the taillights. As you can see, the, it's about, I don't know, five o'clock in the afternoon and the sun is beaming right down on the back of the truck. No issues being seen, so. And just in case you were curious about the difference as the turn signals are on, here we go. Um, also worth noting, something I forgot to mention earlier, is that this windshield on my Tahoe has 50% tint. So when you're looking through this thing, they might not seem incredibly bright, but actually when you're looking at them from outside the car, um, they are quite a bit brighter. Just the 50% tint on the windshield does knock that back quite a bit. Oh, there you can see the turn signal on again. Oh, she's done. Anyway, that's it for now. These are Zevo 3156 bulbs. And there's actually two separate LED chips on board here. A larger chip at the top there, and then a smaller one right below it, and that's on both sides. Um, the smaller one is for your tail light, and the bigger one is obviously your brake or turn signal. They fit in the housing like so, so they're rearward firing. Now, with the way that these particular tail light housings are set up on, on this truck as well as the uh, Silverado, it's a very small uh, parabolic reflector inside here, top and bottom. That's your brake light and this is your turn signal down here. And with those LEDs firing directly rearward into it, it reflects the light beautifully. It looks really good. It's a very concentrated, very bright, very focused light. I will say that I tried to put these, uh, the amber version of these in the front turn signals of my 2018 Silverado and they did not work very well at all because the, the Silverado has a, on the front there, unless you have a high country or an LTZ with the LED turn signals built in from the factory, it has a very long, skinny uh, light housing and it's just one little incandescent bulb in the middle. And I found that these rearward firing bulbs do not take advantage of that reflector at all. They're just not designed to fire in such a long, wide, skinny housing like that. So anyway, and what I'm going to do here, um, I have the, the brake and the turn signal installed on this side. I have not installed resistors yet. But what we're going to do is use the hazard lights, which is, it has its own built-in relay and flasher module. So it doesn't matter if it's LED or not. It's not going to hyper flash on us. So we'll see this bottom uh, signal lighting up and then the regular incandescent bulb on that side lighting up. So let me go ahead and turn those on and I'll bring you back here very shortly. All right, got the hazard lights turned on. And as you can see, there is a marked difference in brightness and in the crispness of the, uh, if that's a word, crispness. <laughs> It's, you know, LEDs are just instant on, instant off. So it's a very crisp, nice looking light. These are extraordinarily bright. And as compared to the factory incandescent bulb, they are just as bright, if not brighter. And they're far more eye catching because it's a, just a, like I said, a much sharper cut off and a much faster on off. So 
I'm really, really happy with how these look in these particular housings. Again, your mileage might vary. If you have an oddly shaped housing that's not going to take advantage of that rearward firing LED setup on these Evo bulbs, then you might want to find something different. But in this particular application, they work fantastic. Really, really nice. So I'm going to go ahead and get both sides installed here. I have some resistors, but I just realized that I forgot all my wiring stuff back down at the house. So I might need to take a quick trip and go get that. But anyway, we're going to get the resistors installed here and get everything else wrapped up. All right, guys. Um, I don't know what happened to all my ring terminals and heat shrink tubing and all that stuff. So what I did, I just uh, soldered everything in place. It's better than using scotch locks. I cannot stand you know, those T-tap connectors or whatever. So the wire that you're going for on these things is the yellow and black one on the bottom bulb. That's your turn signal bulb. You don't need anything for the brake lights. Those are not going to be affected by hyper flash or anything like that because they just, you know, come on and stay on when you uh, put your foot on the pedal. All right, so there's my connection right there. I've got that soldered in. The red wire is the wire for the resistor. And I got the resistor mounted right down here against the sheet metal and then run up to another dedicated uh, ground point right there. As some of you might recall if you followed my video on installing the uh, LED turn signals for the front of this truck I had all kinds of issues trying to tap these resistors into a ground wire on the harness So, you know at that point I just decided to run everything to its own dedicated ground Even if I don't need to it makes me feel better knowing that I'm not tapping into any more wires in the factory harness than I have to So it's the yellow wire with the black stripe on both sides. That's your signal wire and then I run a dedicated ground right into the sheet metal right here. So that's how I do it. And let me go ahead and get this situated. So give me a second and we'll uh, get it turned on. All right, so here we go. We got our left turn signal on and we got all of our uh, tail lights going. Really nice difference in output from uh, tail light mode into signal slash brake mode, but you get plenty of output. Um, from that small LED chip to you, you know, use as your uh, running lights, your your tail lights, basically, and they're not too bright. You know, a lot of the cheaper uh, Amazon bulbs that you get are really bright when you put your foot on it, but then you let your foot off and it goes back into dim mode, and they still look extremely bright. I've uh, gone through several different brands of LED bulbs from Amazon, and I found that to be the case with the vast majority of them. These, not so. You get a perfect output on low for your tail lights, and then when you hit your brakes or turn your signals on, they get extremely bright, at least double or triple the output. And you turn everything off, and you just get your tail lights. They look great. So anyway, guys, that's gonna be it for this video. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave me a comment. I'm happy to do my best to get back to you and walk you through any problems you might have, but pretty simple setup. It's the yellow wire with the black stripe on both sides. That's your signal wire. Again, it is the lower bulb. You don't need to do anything with the top bulb or your reverse bulb, okay? So yellow wire with the black stripe, add your resistor, and then I run my, my resistors to a dedicated ground point. You can do it however you want. If you want to tap into the harness, it may or may not work for you. So, there you go guys, Sylvania Zevo 3156 bulbs in the red color. That's what I'm running. I think they work great, they look good, they fill the reflector perfectly on this particular application anyway. So again, your mileage might vary with those depending on how your uh, tail lights and turn signals and whatnot are set up, but for Tahoes and Silverados and Sierras and whatnot, they work really, really well in this style of housing. Anyway, guys, that's going to be it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. I appreciate it. Have a wonderful Friday. Have a great weekend. Have an awesome and safe 4th of July. Happy Independence Day, everybody. God bless the United States of America. Y'all are awesome. We'll catch you on the next one. See ya.